Hello, it's Rug Lover Mary, and today I'm going to talk about moths. But not just any moths, these are called webbing moths. We don't see this type of moth very often in Victoria. This rug actually came from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And uh, the evidence of moth is very subtle. As you can see here, it just looks like fluff stuck to the back of the rug, but the uh, fluff goes in straight lines with the rug knots, and the casings are very small and delicate, so when I tried to pull one off like here, it just falls apart. The webbing moth, as it moves along the rug, it leaves a layer it's not really slime, but it's not dry either. And it just moves along the back of the rug, or the front, in this case it's the back, eating its way along, and then it turns into a moth. In Victoria, BC, Canada, we get the casing moth, which le after it goes into its little cocoon, it leaves that behind and it looks like a flattened piece of rice. Here you can see a pretty good webbing strip. And I don't know enough about Toronto's weather to know if they don't have the casing moth or if the webbing moth just flourishes better there than here. But the evidence of this moth will only be seen when the rug is rolled up and turned over because the little female moth was very sneaky and crawled under the rug to lay her eggs. And that is why it's very important to vacuum the front and the back of your area rug to check for moth activity and damage. This has been Rug Lover Mary. Thank you.